Hi, my name is Pat and welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. In this vegetable series, we are going to grow hydroponic celery from seeds. First of all, I have to admit that this journey for growing celery was quite difficult to do. I tried germinating seeds from different suppliers and was unsuccessful. I don't know why, maybe the seeds I got were old, or maybe germinating celery is just a challenging task. But one day, I received a batch from a different supplier, and finally, we can grow celery from seeds. Celery is native to the Mediterranean region, and ancient Greeks used the veggies as flowers and burials, but also to reward winners of athletic games. Today, celery is a part of many food recipes. All parts of the plant are edible, and celery is a great source for fiber, vitamin A, C, K, potassium, and has high levels of several types of antioxidants. So let's get started with germinating celery seeds. I like to sterilize the moist cocoa peat by microwaving it for three minutes. When the cocoa peat has cooled, get your seedling container and fill it up with cocoa peat about two inches high. Moisten the cocoa peat with treated water. The treated water for me is tap water that has been placed in an open container for at least a day so that the chlorine can evaporate. Then distribute the celery seeds and then water them with treated water. Lightly cover the seeds with cocoa peat and spray one last time with your treated water. Finally, place a plastic sheet above the cocoa peat to retain its moisture. You do not need to germinate the seeds in darkness, so you can place the container 1 to 2 inches below your LED grow lights. Make sure you keep the cocoa peat moist, so check every 4 days and if needed, just spray the cocoa peat with treated water. In about 8 to 10 days, tiny buds begin to appear. You can now take out the plastic sheet. By the way, I'm using 18 watt LED daylight lights that give out over 2,000 lumens and over 5,000 Kelvin. Make sure you keep the cocoa peat moist by bottom feeding the seedlings with your treated water. I do this every other day. When you see three leaves appear, this occurred on day 28 for me. You can now bottom feed with half strength solution. Half strength solution is watering with one half treated water and the other half with nutrient solution. The nutrient solution I'm using is called Master Blend and the celery formula is similar to that of basil which I grew in my earlier videos. Except with celery, I kept the pH level at 6.3. When you see three large leaves developing, mine happened on day 44. I decided to transfer the celery to their own net cups. Loosen the sides of the cocoa peat holding the seedlings. Then carefully lift them and place them on a tray of treated water to help you separate the seedlings. Then I get 8 inch plastic cups and place holes on the bottom and on the side using a soldering iron. I fill up the cup with cocoa peat and dug a hole in the center that's big enough to hold the seedling. Carefully transfer the seedling. I then water the cocoa peat so that it gets pushed down, helping the seedling settle nicely. Since the roots are still short, I decided to keep the seedlings on a food tray 
which had nutrient solution about half an inch deep. On day 53, when the celery is about 6 to 7 inches tall, I decided to transfer each seedling to its own container. I'm recycling a food jar big enough to hold the 8 ounce plastic cup and its seedling. I also placed aluminum foil around the jar so that the outside light cannot go through and create algae inside. I filled the container with nutrient solution so that it reaches a little above the bottom of the cup, touching the cocoa peat so that it remains moist for the celery roots. Make sure you keep the cocoa peat moist. I check the nutrient solutions level every other day and refill it when needed. I like harvesting celery while it is still young. It has the same taste and nutrition as a mature celery. So today, I'm going to make celery cream soup with some of the harvest. So there you have it, hydroponic celery grown from seeds. Thank you for watching this channel. Till our next video, bye-bye.